All right. So today is the release date of Resident Evil Village. I suck at horror games. I do not enjoy horror movies. And in general, if I would be playing games all by myself, I don't think I would have picked this specific one to play. That being said, I do enjoy it on like a strange level. Because I know that a lot of you really enjoy watching me scream like a little girl. <clears throat> what I'm trying to say is I'm a bit of a masochist. Anyways, I'm playing the PC edition of this game. So, um, yeah, I don't know really what to expect. All I did was I, um, I loaded up the game just to see if everything was working. And to make sure that the graphic settings and whatnot were hopefully set up properly. Um, I skipped the cutscene. I skipped everything. I just, like, you know, got to the very beginning. Um, and uh, I checked out what's going on. So it does say load game over here. I have played a grand total of I think eight seconds <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, um, when I first booted up the game it gave me like a little um, like brightness slider So it kind of like You know got me to set up a couple of basic settings and then it jumped straight into the game right from there now there was a um, an option to apparently get a recap for the story of Resident Evil 7, which I did play once upon a time, quite some time ago. But I don't really know exactly how this specific one ties in with Resident Evil 7 and how it works. So I suggest, if I can find out if there is an option for it, yeah, I suggest that we check out this one. So it says, remembering Resident Evil 7. I'm sitting on top of it, but, you know. Anyways, this is obviously going to be a spoiler for Resident Evil 7, in case you're unfamiliar, right? A summary of Ethan's story from the previous game, recommended for those who have not played Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I, I think there's probably some... I don't know, maybe there is some time. Uh, or some tie-in, rather. I, uh, I did already dim the lights and whatnot as well, yeah, to make it look a little bit more... I can also turn them off, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I did play this one, but it's been a while. I remember there were some creepy moments, though. It wasn't super scary, if I recall correctly, but... Anyways. Let us have a look. <sighs> okay. Where to start? At the beginning. My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. Oh, I got yeah. an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. Oh, yeah, I remember this one. <laughs> what was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddies showed up and saved the both of us. What happened to Mia at the enough? end? I don't remember what happened to her at the I end. I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. I think it was like a happy ending. It's all over now. For for the most part. She was fine? Hmm. Alright. Well, with that, it's time for a new game. Um, we get to select the difficulty. Casual, standard, or hardcore. Standard. Captain Warfield saves the day again. He's been doing it for a long time. Long ago, 
a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. This looks Feeling awesome. strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. Sure, a boat. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. That's a terrifying story for a child. Inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What a bedtime story that is. With the creepy story, she's only six months yeah. old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. No, because she doesn't speak because language. She doesn't understand it. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. Oh, jeez. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. Man, I'm already I'm arguing with my non-existent wife. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh, bro. I'll finish dinner. Is that Mia, then? And am I Ethan? It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember it. I can't blame her. This is the game. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put I it said down. it was the game. W D S D or S what? What is wrong with W A S D? It's okay. It looks pretty, doesn't it? So this is this is as far as I got. I like did this. This is as far as I got when I tested out uh, what the game is, but I obviously didn't see the cinematic. Um, honestly, the uh, the opening cinematic, it, it reminded me a little bit of like one of those, what is it, Tim Burton? Or Tim, Tim, whatever. Like one of those, one of those movies. That looked awesome. Yeah, video games these days don't really write down uh, WASD anymore. They pretty much always make it like, I don't know, they just put it in a different order. WSAD, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's easier to understand or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, looks like we got a nice little home over here. I'm supposed to put our child to sleep, but I want to first off check out our our place. This New looks nice. Detected. Let's go on Kaus. Thank you for your 21 months. Welcome back. So me and Mia got a child. Once things warm up, we can go for a walk. She's going to grow up beautiful. Is that picture taken like today? Because that's literally the same. 
We got it framed real quick. Maybe we've got one of those printers. Oh. I remember last time around I saw a dinner scene in Resident Evil. I was just reminded of that. From that uh, nice little recap of Resident Evil 7. This looks more appetizing already. Don't get too close to me when I'm cooking, babe. Dude, I feel like she's about to snap at me. She's already snapped at me like three times. Hey, what are you doing, mister? What? Wait. What did I do? Our taste in music's definitely improved over the years. You mean mine has. What are we listening? Miss D and the pool boys? Pal boys? Hurry up and put Rose to sleep, will you? All right, all right, all right. Jeez. Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, all right? We do have one of those fancy floors. I found out that apparently, like, one of those... I don't know what they call them, but this like motif of like the the you know the arrow facing thingamajig. Apparently that stuff's expensive. Herringbone is that what it's called? Could be. I don't know. Anyways, I'm assuming that our uh, our bedroom is upstairs. We've got a lot of rugs. Shh. They're there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Yeah, I agree. Terrible idea to have a book like that. Anyways, I don't have children, so maybe this is what you do. There you go. You go to sleep. <laughs> this is not where we go to sleep. What? Oh. I'll, I'll just pretend I'm Ethan. Mia's medication. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. <clears throat> I didn't want to flush the baby down the toilet yet. What in the world? Almost there, honey. No, no, I want to check out... Dude, we got a... We got a big home, don't we? I don't know where Ethan and, uh, and Mia live, but... Considering three years ago everything was a wreck, we have a we have a nice place. Wait, do we have a bedroom? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! Where's our bedroom? Where do me and Mia sleep? They live in the village, loco. Oh, we sleep in the same room as the baby. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, fair enough. I thought this was the baby room. I just saw, like, the turtle thing and jig on the ground. There you go, I, <laughs> I sleep on the couch. Don't yeah, tonight worry. my character is definitely right sleeping downstairs. on the couch. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. New subscriber. He's gone on Lord Crania. Did I just see something following you? <gasps> Captain HD. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Welcome back. Dude, look at our place! We have a bedroom adjacent to a bedroom. I'm impressed. We have a nice place. This is where our Ethan watches porn most of the time. It's pretty neat. February 6th, 2021. <gasps> this is very recent. This is back when he was in home office, I think. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago, and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe. Yeah! The beautiful country of Europe! Woo! You know this is an American uh, writing this story when they refer to a life in Europe. <laughs> no European, like, would write that. It's, it's, it's not a country. Anyways, we finally settled down in our new life in the beautiful country of Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. 
I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live out our lives with Rose, or live our lives rather with Rose, wait, with Rose, without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Um, so, Mia has never actually, uh, like, I am by no means, like, a mental health expert, but considering all the shit that the characters saw in the first game of this series, um, probably good to address that. I don't know. Gun survivalist. I know I have to really have to get you. Wait, a heavy, what does it say? Gun survivalist, a heavy firearm ma manual? <laughs> He did bring his American books, at the very least, from Louisiana. Rose's favorite toy. Alrighty. Aww. Do we ever see Ethan's face? I do not know. Man, having a baby and seems we so could crazy. Stay like this forever. Imagine having a baby. Oof, man. Like, I have a cat right now, and I feel like that's already a lot of responsibility. And my cat doesn't even have to go out into society one day. Like, I can spoil my cat, it's fine. <laughs> It's not really an issue. <laughs> oh well. Anyways, let's go down to the village. Is she okay? Sleeping like a... Uh, well, like a baby. Haha! <laughs> good one, Ethan. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de la gum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm. Local wine, too. Native to Europe. But if you're going <laughs> to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. Bro, she's really being really, really mean. Worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana. Nice pouring pregnancy, animation. Chris moving us here. Military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose... Now, everything is gonna Seriously, be- Seriously? Think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. <laughs> I just- I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia! Get down! Oh, I think she's gonna get down soon enough. Mia! God. Hey! Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! Wait, she what? wasn't dead yet? Why? Why are you coming through the window? Go Was move for, for style points? Did you just like all clear? Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. New subscriber detected. On the real rhymes nice. Enjoy at Loco TV. Get him. Thank you, guy brush. Is this just like a European custom? Is this how they do it over in Europe? Where they like greet each other maybe this way? Maybe it's just some sort of cultural difference I don't understand. As someone from the Netherlands who's never been to the country of Europe. Hey Doc. Hey, Doc. 
I get your daughter's results back and I'd like you to come in to talk about that. How about the next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. The doctor called us himself or herself? She'll see us next week. I've never had a doctor phone me like that for an appointment. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Man, this is bad. <laughs> I know little about relationships, but like, I'm seeing red flags all over the game so far. <laughs> I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter too much anymore because she did, but. <clears throat> My little angel apparently is what this one is called. Too soon, Loco? Yeah, okay. Jesus. Literally just happened. <laughs> About damn time. What's your stat? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? Bro. And Rose. Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not walking around the walk off. Nice. Fuck. She went from MIA, Mia, to KIA. Kia? What the hell happened here? From Mia to Kia. It's true. Okay, um, so we uh, lived in our beautiful home, what seems to be in France. And uh, now she's dead. And uh, our child got stolen from us, which apparently is referred to as the package. Is it Romania? Oh, okay. It's Romania? Oh, I was getting some French vibes. Okay, okay. So they moved from uh, from the US to Romania? From Louisiana to Romania? At least they have fast internet speeds there. That's true. Uh, eliminate target, recover body. Secure Rosemary winners, okay, and Ethan winners. Move the two winners, sis. Winners? All right. Uh, to site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. That's one. Maybe there's another guy in there too. So wait, we got smacked with a with a with a butt of a gun, and now. See, this is why we needed two of those officers. We only had one. We'll go down to the village. Yeah, see, I now know that it's Romania because it's snowing there permanently. Right, Mugetsu? That's what I've learned about uh, Romania. They have permanent snow and really good internet speeds. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And vampires, too. It's fine, chat. Don't worry about it. Hope you got your shots, uh, Ethan. That's how you get sick. Damn it, Ethan. Can you do like one thing right for like one minute? So if we are in Romania and this is a scary game, vampires. Yeah, at least my wife did get the shots. That's true. Oh god.
This seems like a nice village, guys. I'm excited. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ooh, I've, I've, I've seen them. I've seen them, video game. Why do you guys enjoy watching me get scared so much? Oh, jeez. Hey! Sir! Sir! <sighs> what do you want me to do? Through the door? Yeah? This seems like a... S Seems like a smart move. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm playing on the PC. Yes. Game looks really pretty, doesn't it? I mean, if you don't focus on the very limited amount of light. Loco closed the door. Ethan was not raised properly. Okay, he does not close the close the door. Ethan! Bat form, dude. He just walks into someone else's place. Doesn't take off the shoes, doesn't close the front door, and doesn't start snooping in their drawers. Is this what people in Louisiana, uh, Louisiana do? Wow. Very rude. Yeah, okay, nice. Can wash your hands. Y you cannot wash your hands. Why am I scared of opening things? What? It's like a spinning wheel. The only reason I know what that is is because of that fairy tale. I'm seeing lots of references to fairy tales in general. Did you guys know that Snow White got cancelled? Did you, did you know that? This, this apparently was a thing a couple days ago. Someone linked a news article about Snow White being cancelled because Prince Charming at the end of the story, spoiler alert, kisses Snow White and wakes her up and that kiss was non-consensual. It's true, Chet. If you read your children the story of Snow White, you're literally disgusting. Can't believe it. Oh no, we gotta go down? Like, I'm not joking, this was an actual like... Yeah, technically, <laughs> technically. I mean, it did save her life, so I don't know where we draw the line, but... Anyways. Hey guys, why are your eyes glowing? W Hello. Also, how do I have light in the first place, by the way? Where is this light coming from? It's shining kinda low. Did I strap the light to my pee pee? Because it's, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's right around the belt region. <laughs> Maybe my balls glow in the dark. It could be. Maybe that's just a feature for people from Louisiana. I don't know. I've learned many things already. Nice. <laughs> my genitals got radiated. Maybe that's part of the story of Resident Evil 7. I don't remember. Also, by the way, whenever I get nervous, I talk a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This is for the vampires, as we already stated. <laughs> Pl 
Like, just... <laughs> the fuck am I playing, chat? It was just a plank. Just because Ethan doesn't know where his feet are and for some reason bumps into everything. Doesn't mean it's- oh god, okay. Oh, I'm gonna turn around. Something's gonna be behind me. Oh, not? Do we climb into it? Is this like... Narnia? Oh, what am I doing here? Ooh, fuck me. Guys, there's someone upstairs. Think daddy's home. Dad? Where's my boy, the owl? Hello? Oh, are you sure? Yep, let me... Okay. Now my shirt and hands and pants are all dirty. Okay. Very nice. What about we grab one of those antlers? What did all this? Like, I, I, I'm just saying, Ethan? I know the chances of us defeating and killing whatever is here. Like, I don't think the chances are very good, but arming yourself in any way, shape, or form may be a good idea. I saw a broken off antler from that thing that fell down the wall. What about, like, or like just a glass bottle? A s no, I, I don't know about a spoon, but. He does have military training, right? What about these icicles, man? I feel like if you hit someone with one of these, that's insta-kill. Or at least bring the garlic. Like, we are in Romania, for God's sake. Anyways. Are we really in Romania? I haven't... Like, I don't know. Maybe we are. Loco, the best weapon is the pen. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. <laughs> We're in the country of Europe. Right. That ne really narrows it down. Where the hell am I? Is this Disneyland? Man, that looks really cool. All jokes aside, that is that is really pretty. Hey, it's sunrise. Man, Europe is really it's a beautiful country. Am I gonna let this go, by the way, or am I gonna like keep keep referencing the fact that the characters moved to the country of Europe? <laughs> okay, fine, I'll let it go, but. Oh, well. I feel like it's a bit overgrown here. If you strain your ankle right now, uh, Ethan... Oh, God. Yeah, at least it's summertime in Romania. It means there's less snow. I mean, there's still snow, obviously. Man, there's loads of garlic! Are those eggs? Whoa! What happened to them? They seem so weird. Dude, like, does gravity not apply to these? Yeah, this is for me to make some gains. Garlic is very healthy, eggs are very healthy as well, guys. Maybe they're frozen? Oh yeah, of course. Maybe, maybe they're out? Sure. Sure, Ethan, I'm sure. Like, especially after- <laughs> Sure! This is fine, Ethan. This is how people live. They're just out. Don't worry about it. Look. They're making a nice little stew for dinner tonight. It'll be perfect. Some beautiful art on the wall. Not scary at all. Mm-mm. Coat wreck? Unnecessary. Just hammer a freaking nail in the wall. 
Hang up your coat. Fixed. Yeah, that was... We, we've come across a bunch of symbols. Um, this symbol over here has been there a couple times now. Wait, was there someone in the bed? No, no, no. Garlic is kind of OP, though. I feel like garlic is... Pretty overpowered. I really hope the IRL devs do not hotfix garlic, is what I'm trying to say. Wait, wait, wasn't there something else back? Hold up, guys. What is over here? Yeah, this is what Europe towns look like. Every town in Europe looks exactly like this. As someone from the country of Europe, I can confirm. Wait. Man, I want to go to the backyard now. There's multiple directions to go. I don't know. How can I choose? Look, I can confirm Frankfurt looks exactly like this. I thought Germany was a very wealthy country, but... This needs some kind of other item. Alright. I gotta say, by the way, I love the lack of interface so far. In the sense that I don't see... Like, there's no overlay, there's no crosshair, there's nothing. I know at some point that they'll probably be shooting and all that, but so far, there's just like... It's just a game. Pretty sick. Do not enter. They wrote in English. <laughs> On the wall. <laughs> I even have footprints. Can we make a snow angel? Ethan. Can I? No. I can only crouch. I can only squat. Which I guess is important if you're in uh, that part of the world. In Europe. Draw a pee pee, look. I can't draw a pee pee. Well, I could with my feet, but. Yeah, we are definitely gonna go past that part that says. Look, it's a European toilet. We are definitely gonna go. I don't wanna peek in someone else's toilet, but. <laughs> it's locked! <laughs> Uh, I, I would peek. I would definitely have peeked by now, Ethan. I'm sorry. We might catch someone pooping. But if that's the worst case and Oh, God. Uh, if that's the worst case scenario... Uh, it's fine, dude. I think he's done. There's a couple of voice lines missing, it seems. I don't know why. I don't know, it's probably bugged. They probably, uh... It's popular in the video game industry to, like, rush projects at the very end, right? And put in, like, 100-hour work weeks. It's probably one of the things they have the files for, but they just didn't link it yet. Wait, was that Rose's favorite toy? Hold up now. No, that was a different toy. Was that this? Is that the same toy? No, 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 that's a different one. Isn't it? Well, I don't know. It's the same one, but smaller? Hmm. It's like a monkey looking thing, yeah. I would imagine Ethan would recognize it, right? Interesting decor. What happened? What happened? Someone strung up a bunch of goats. I don't... <laughs> I don't think this is an accident, man. 
Graveyard that way, workshop and ceremony site. Okay. What's the story so far? Uh, the wife got killed, the daughter got kidnapped, and we escaped the car, it seems, because the driver didn't know how to drive or something. And now we made it to this beautiful village. Locked due to missing homeowner. <laughs> That's how we do it around here, too. If I don't show up at my home for a week, then lock my front door. So it's just like a car, you know, when you park in one of those spots you're not supposed to, they put like a lock on it. <laughs> All right. Another open door. There's a light on. Some force could break it. Well, not Ethan, not Ethan then, I guess. I need a weapon, Ethan. Oh. Hey, nice. <coughs> oh, first aid med. Disinfectant. Very nice. Is that my pulse? Okay. I've got zero lay. Lie. Lay. Is that is that the um Is that the Romanian currency? I guess so, right? Yeah, I think this is like my 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 um my life bar or like my sanity bar or something along those lines. I've got zero, guys. A well-used knife with a large blade and medicine that fully heals all wounds. Medicine that fully uh, heals all wounds, closes gashes and acts as a clotting agent while restoring function to damaged systems. I'm a poor man loco. I, uh, yeah. It's okay, guys. At the very least, I'm not in the negative, you know? It's fine. <coughs> Reaching a net worth of zero <coughs> is already pretty good. Did they just run out of the house? Mmm. Delicious. They didn't just run out of the house. Music Unless these people live like this. It's crazy. I've got a diamond heart now. Happy French noises. Thank you very much, Dabinosaurus, for the three year resub. Enjoy the new sub badge. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Je une très grosse beat. No, no. <clears throat> No, no, I'm friendly, friendly. Bro, why oh, can I'm... no one aim? Who Is this the A team? Nobody. There was an accident down the road. And... What's going on? How did he miss? Grandpa, what the fuck did you do? Fudge. Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I? Take it! Take it! Help me, it's out there. Hey, are you listening? Subscriber. Ethan, he gave you a gun. Oh, jeez. Grandpa? Wait, there's more. Thank you, Maverick, for the resub, dude. Um, it must smell really bad in here. I'm just, you know. Why do I want to have photo mode? Why in the world would I want photo Jesus mode, game? Did you see that little pop-up in the bottom right? It's like, you can enable photo mode by pressing P. It's like, alright, thank you, game. What's wrong with this place? <laughs> 
Fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, nice. I, I can pose with the corpses or something. That's properly messed up. Oh! Oh! Ethan, you're so stupid! What the? Oh my god! Ethan! No. This is bad, bro! Alright. Come here! Bro, how many times do I have to hit you? Oh god. Okay. Can I switch to the knife? Cause this weapon sucks. Oh, what the hell? <clears throat> Alright. Looking good. Yeah, maybe he just wanted a hand. Bolt cutters. Okay. I don't know. Do we have to concern ourselves with our left hand by any... Like, I'm just thinking here. I, I've i had, like, little cuts in my hands before, and it doesn't stop bleeding. I'm not entirely sure what happens when you lose a finger and a half. <laughs> but I feel like we need to tend to it. New subscriber detected. Local hold me. I'm scared. It's okay, you'll be fine. I'll thank you for the 19 months. I got bolt cutters now. Yeah, I can use my family photo on this. Oh, didn't work. Alright, fine, I'll try the bolt cutters. How am I doing this? I just lost two fingers. Maybe everyone in the country of Europe has four fingers, that's true. I already considered that part. Chemical fluids. Alright. What does this do? Oh, okay. There's a crafting thing. I can craft my own handgun ammo? Yeah, adrenaline is very powerful. It's true. But it's gonna be running out very soon, right? And then we'll continue bleeding. And then we die. Erp. Alright. So wait. I can craft my own first eight? The aiming, by the way, is a little shaky. Like, I feel like my mouse cursor is not very responsive somehow. I'm, I'm already, like, what I'm trying to say is I'm making up an excuse for later on when I will aim absolutely terribly. Just so you guys know, it's definitely not me at the game, okay? It's supposed to be like that, Loco? Okay. So wait, how do I do it? Oh, I crafted it? Okay, I did it. I got an achievement on Steam. Can I enable, like, hardware cursor or something? Yeah. Uh... I can change my reticle. The menus are very weird, by the way. So, like, in order to select this menu, I can click on it. But then in order to go back, you don't hit escape. You have to hit right mouse button. Like, so it's left mouse button to enter the, the menu, and then right mouse button to leave the menu. How strange is that? Um... Yeah, it's very weird. So, like, I can't- like, I'm hitting- I'm hitting escape. It doesn't do it. So, it's basically just a console menu is what I'm getting at. Like, my right mouse button is the B button. <laughs> I guess I'll leave aim assist on, though, because the aiming is a bit shaky. Okay. This is how they make water in Europe. They just boil snow. <laughs> That's how we do it at home too, man. You guys should see me. You should see me take a shower. It takes half the day.
Yeah, as long as the the snow is not yellow, it's okay. Hello? European EDM. Sick rave party. Nice. Some handgun ammo. Very nice. Ah, well, Monty, yes. You can barricade the door with shelves? Which door? Can I... Can... Uh, uh... What? I, I picked up some more chemicals. <gasps> I don't... Okay, nice. I... <laughs> I don't have that many... Bullets. Yeah, it's just... Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I do it like that, okay. What's up, boys? Do I have to shoot him? Like, I don't have that many arrows. Or, sorry, arrows? Bullets. Are they gonna break through that? I don't know. Damn it. There's a load of them, man. It takes like a hundred bullets to kill one. Do I kill him? I'm gonna run out. I don't think I want to shoot. Buddy. Are you gonna... Okay, I think I'm supposed to go up or... S oh, okay. Um... It's fine, Chad. We just kill him. I think I was supposed to shoot him. Oh, oh God. My left hand is gone again. Control to restore health. Yeah, it's fine. Ow! Dude, that burns. I don't even have any wounds. I don't even have any wounds on my... Okay, nice. This guy was carrying some, some money. Very nice. I feel like pouring alcohol on an open wound is a bad idea. Over. Wait, what? It's over? I killed one. There were like three. How much is 190 lay in euros? To Louise's house near the fields. That's 38 Survivors. euro? Hell yeah. I'm rich. I think I just had to like hold out for a little bit, yeah. Wait, what did she say? Come to the what? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was trying to figure out how much that was. I can go and get McDonald's a couple times with that. She said I needed to go somewhere, didn't she? Go to Loiza's house, the house near the fields. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Chad. Bro, my hand is missing! How do we not address this? Um... Any doctors in the chat or medical experts that would know what would happen, hypothetically speaking, if you lose half a hand and it's not, like, treated at all? I'm not even bandaging it. I'm not stopping the bleeding. Wouldn't I just bleed out? Maybe I'm saying something really dumb. Like, I understand adrenaline for a little bit can help out in that regard, but I'm super dead, right? Your APM goes down? <laughs> it's okay, I can always switch to Protals, it's fine. Hey, um, is there anything I can loot over there? Uh, I guess we don't go there. No. Oh god. I 
I can loot something over here. Watch this. Nice. An entire chest full of one herb. Was that a person falling off the roof? Oh, yep, yep, yep. Uh, can I? Ethan, I don't know what we're doing here, but I suggest I have two shots. Survive the attack. Oh, jeez. Are there any more any more rounds? Another herb. Okay. Uh. I like shotguns already. Oh, jeez, dude. This guy is hit. Oh. oh, it's fine. It's just not a finger. Don't need it anyway. Woo. This guy is a club. There's no end to them. There's no end to them? What do you mean, bro? Do I have to go downstairs? Is that what you're saying? Okay, fine. I'll go downstairs. What is this? Gunpowder. Okay, never mind. I'll, I'll go downstairs. I'll take the ladder. Nah, I'm not gonna close it off. We didn't have time for that. I gotta be a looter, man. I'm playing an RPG here. I gotta loot everything. Flower bags? I'll take flower bags? What the fuck? Wait, what? What? I'm... I'm confused. What is going on? Why are there arrows? Uh... They're burning down the village, I guess. Ow, 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 ow. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go. I don't think it's the zombies. Excuse me. Coming through. Oh, I can't jump over that? Uh... It's locked! Ethan! Ethan! What? Ethan! What do you want me to do? Huh? I can't move here, there's an invisible wall. Where do you want me to go? Over here, maybe? Oh, no, there's no jumping. Space. I'm running, chat. This is as far as I run. I am holding shift. Unless there's another button. There's blood over here. Do I follow the blood? Isn't this where I came from? Or came from though? Yeah, this is where I was at. Um Maybe I forgot looting something? I don't know. What does that do? So wait. It said something. Yeah, maybe I can get the big guy to swing his hammer at the door? Let me take a photo, guys. Oh, I'm supposed to get hit and die. I was surviving for too long. Oh shit, dude. I think I was supposed to die.
Oh, I made it. I successfully failed. I was supposed to die a long time ago. I think. Hey. Missions failed successfully. Hagrid really let himself go. He really did. Oh god. Oh gee. Oh god. Okay. So wait. Oh jeez. Oh fuck. That looks so rough. Don't worry. Just pour some alcohol over it. It'll be fine. Um. Zombies are intelligent. Oh. Let's. Huh? Zombies are intelligent Why? now. Why? <sighs> Did I just wrap it up just like that? Oh, I just got an achievement called Not Liking This.